Hey friends, thank you for stopping by for a visit today. I'm Kayla and today I'm working on a purple puppy that I have been trying to get done by Easter. I really haven't worked on it like consistently because I've had other things I'm working on, but today I'm determined to work on this puppy. So I was about to stuff the um, body. This is the body section. And so I thought I would just do a video of how I stuff my amigurumi, plushies, stuffies, whatever you want to call them. So um, basically I just have this empty, you know, section here and I take my polyfill and I purchased at Walmart I purchased the big humongous box um, and maybe about like 25 bucks something like that I purchased that um, whenever I run out and it lasts me a, a pretty good while it lasts me a long time so what I do is I just take my polyfill and I kind of separate it like this to you know let all that air get up in there because if it's um if it's all balled up like this you don't want to stick that in your in here because it's going to be lumpy so you want to take your um polyfill stretch it out let all that air get in there fluff it up and put some in here now i've put several pieces in here already now so what I need to do is I want to fill the bottom. I don't want to just fill it straight up. We need to fill it, um, fill it from the bottom out and up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingers and put inside, and I'm going to spread my fingers apart like this in the polyfill. So it, it pushes the polyfill out towards the sides of the project. And then I take some more polyfill. And so I created a hole when I was doing it like this. Let me see if I can just get some and show you. When I was doing it like this, it creates a hole in the middle. So what we need to do now is stuff that hole. So I'm putting this polyfill down in that hole. So that's what I'm going to do right here on the inside. I am just filling that hole. And I'm going to take some more polyfill and just stuff it down in that hole. Now this all does depend on if you want your stuffy to be firm or do you want it to be floppy. Um, I overstuff because that stuffing is going to... <coughs> Excuse me. That stuffing is going to squish up. So you do... I, I prefer to overstuff it so that when it does squish up and settle some, it's still nicely filled. But you don't want to st stuff it so much that your stitches are bulging out and your stuffing's coming through the stitches. If you can see your stuffing from the outside, then you have too much stuffing. So I'm just putting another layer in. Okay, so now I'm going to put my hand in and I'm going to do it like that to create another hole. And I'm pushing that stuff in all out to the edge of the project here. Okay, so I have a nice hole there. I don't know how well you can see there, but I have a nice little tunnel going down and I need to fill that tunnel so I just take some polyfill stick all the way down in that tunnel and it's still a good tunnel there so I just grab more polyfill and just continue to stuff that tunnel until it is full and it feels like the um, Stuffing is pushed all the way out to the edges of this project. So I'm not really filling, at this moment, I'm not filling up, I'm filling out. Okay, so this is going down in the tunnel. It 
it's still really, really squishy. I, I don't have enough in there by no means. So, <clears throat> yeah, you need a big box of polyfill. <clears throat> Excuse me. A big box of polyfill so that you have enough to do your um, stuffies or amigurumis, plushies. And you can order that box online and have it delivered. Um, it's convenient for me just to pick it up at the store. Alright, so I still it's, it's still not firm enough, so I'm just going to take my hand, push all that out to the sides of the project. So I want this puppy to be nice and chubby and firm. This is going to a little girl, my niece, and I imagine she will be pretty rough on it. <laughs> So we need lots of stuffing to make it firm in there. So you can see I'm using quite a bit of stuffing. And that's just what it takes if you want a nice field project. I still have a really good tunnel there that I'm filling up. And basically I'm filling out instead of going up. Yeah, it's getting a little bit firmer, so I'm just going to push that all out to the edges and create another tunnel all the way down to the bottom of the project. I've, I've got a nice tunnel there, and I'm just filling that tunnel up. You're probably thinking, wow, that's a lot of stuffing. <laughs> it is. But it creates a nice project. And I do want the project to, you know, be nice. It's getting firmer, so that's good. But I still have a good tunnel right there in the middle so I'm just gonna keep stuffing this down and I'll do the same technique when I stuff the head of this project because it's not a one piece it's a this particular project is a uh, the body and then you make the head and stuff them both and then put them together so I will do the same technique when I do the head, but when I do the arms and legs of this project, I won't stuff it like this because it's so easy to stretch those stitches out so that you see the stuffing. And plus, um, you know, the arms and legs don't need to be just overstuffed like this. So, I'm, you know, I fill them up and not out. Now you can kind of shape your project as you're going. And if your project is like something like mine, and you do want it to um, have a nice bottom, then you want to make sure your bottom is filled really well and stretched out so it has a solid bottom so it will sit up well. You can tell it's like a, a lot firmer now. I still have a hole. I still have a tunnel all the way to the bottom. So, I mean, when I'm stuffing it in, I'm just pushing it down 
and then kind of spreading it out a little more because I want the polyfill to go all the way out to the edges and the center of this project to be full also. You don't want to leave holes in there because the polyfill is going to shift and squish and, you know, it's going to change. And especially as the project gets played with, um, hugged on, you know. Now, my hole is getting full, so my tunnel is not as deep. It's not all the way to the bottom anymore. So that's good. We're getting somewhere. And now I still have a little tunnel, but it's not to the bottom. So I'm just stuffing down in that tunnel. I appreciate you guys coming along today and checking out this video. If I if you have other requests that you would like to see, please leave me a comment below. And I will see about doing those videos. Alright. So now we're getting somewhere. I have that pretty stuffed. <clears throat> this is, um... You know, the tunnel is stuffed up pretty good now. So I'm still going to spread that out a little more because... I spread it out at the bottom. I also want to spread it out at the top. So I'm still just spreading that apart so that we fill up the top part of the body. And you can see it's a lot firmer and has more shape to it now. But we also need to fill out up here. So I'm just getting some more polyfill. And squish down in this little tunnel that I just created. And that just helps fill the body. Because this is more the bottom. And then we're coming up on the body part. Alright, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It's a nice um, rounded bottom. It's kind of flat on the bottom so the project will sit well. But then also it comes up and gives some chubbiness, but it's firm. And it comes all the way up. And up here I feel like um, it could probably use a little more stuffing. But I've also got to do another stitcher around or two to... Um, get this a little bit smaller and then I'm just going to stuff it a little more and just make sure that's nice and firm and the stuffing goes all the way to the top but that is how I stuff my um, makes my amigurumi plushies stuffies whatever you want to call them that's how I stuff them and it just gives them a, um, a nice full look and um, you know it, I think it just looks better when it's stuffed properly well guys I thank you for watching and I'm going to finish this off and I need to do the next part of this project and I will see you all again soon <laughs> bye friends